Have you ever wondered why your blood pressure is high when you go and visit your doctor? Well, let's explore some of the reasons. Peter Barlas here, cardiologist. Now, a common condition is high blood pressure. However, your blood pressure often might be high because of other factors. So let's go through what these factors are because it's important to actually not just depend on the one value of blood pressure reading at your doctor's office, but to check what your blood pressure is doing over the course of weeks and months. Nevertheless, when you go and see your doctor, you are often worried, stressed, ill, and that might be because of an unrelated condition. You might have an infection, a chest infection, a urine infection, and you're going to see your doctor and they happen to check your blood pressure and it's high. Well, of course, illness will increase blood pressure. So that's the number one reason why when you go and visit your doctor, you're often unwell because of a reason and then your blood pressure is checked and it is high. But there are many other factors that can cause a blood pressure reading to be high. The American College of Cardiology recently had a great publication, an infographic that I'll link in the description below, that highlights some of these reasons as to why blood pressure readings are high when you go and visit your doctor. And let's go through what they are. Number one, talking whilst you're having your blood pressure been measured. Yep, you're right. Chatting, having a chat with your doctor, your doctor asking you questions, how you're feeling, what's going on, and they're checking your blood pressure as they're doing it, that will increase your blood pressure. And in some cases, that can be up by, you know, even 19 to 20 millimeters of mercury. So it can be significant. Second reason is having had a smoke within 15 or 30 minutes of your consultation, you go and have your blood pressure checked, and lo and behold, it's high. So take that into consideration. And of course, if you are smoking, try to work on reducing smoking. We'll have a separate video on some of the tips and tricks to work on how we can reduce smoking and eliminate it altogether. Similarly, having a coffee within the space of half hour prior to your consultation, increase your blood pressure often from four to five up to about 15 millimeters of mercury. So it is significant. Another reason is having your legs crossed. Simple. We sit and we often might cross our legs. Having your legs crossed can increase your blood pressure reading. So I often suggest having your, your legs wide apart, flat on the, on the floor, often will allow a more accurate depiction of what your blood pressure is. Having your arm dangling by the side will also cause your blood pressure to be raised. So what I often suggest is resting your arm on your lap or on the side of the chair if there's an arm rest to avoid hanging it by the side because that will also cause your blood pressure to be higher. And in some cases up to 20 millimeters of mercury higher. So it's important to try to be as relaxed as you can and in a comfortable relaxed posture and position. Another reason of, of why your blood pressure reading might be high is sitting down in the chair, you haven't got appropriate back support, leg support, well, those two factors will also contribute to a higher blood pressure reading. A full bladder, yep. Not having emptied your bladder, going, seeing your doctor, having your blood pressure checked can often be as high as 20 to 30 millimeters of mercury higher than what it would be if you had emptied your bladder. Checking the blood pressure, with a cuff that might be too small. That will also significantly cause blood pressure to be higher than what it actually is. So it's important for medical practitioners to have a variety of cuffs and uh, to cater for different size arms to make sure that we're getting a genuine representation of, of the blood pressure reading. Checking the blood pressure with many layers of clothing over the arm. Now, a t-shirt, a shirt, often doesn't make a huge difference, but if you've got bulky clothing and a jacket or coat over the arm, well, that will also cause your blood pressure reading to be higher. And of course, your blood pressure might be high because, you know, you have 
hypertension, that condition that leads to high blood pressure. And in some cases, there might be secondary causes like kidney problems, hormonal imbalances. But in many cases, we don't actually find a reason as to why your blood pressure is high. I don't often base high blood pressure only on the single reading in the office. And it's important for patients to take ownership and check your blood pressure at home. So invest in one of these blood pressure monitors. There are many available. There are the manual ones, but there are also many automatic blood pressures. And we've got a great article on our heartmatters.com website to look at various machines and so forth that uh, are out there. You know, these blood pressure machines are very, very good. And I often get asked, well, are the automatic ones the same as the manual ones? Not too much of a difference, but of course, whatever you use, use the same one, but check your blood pressure perhaps a couple of times a day, morning and in the evening, record it in a little diary, and then over the course of, this, of a few weeks, being able to share those readings with your doctor to get a better understanding of what your blood pressure is doing during the course of the day and evening. So high blood pressure is an important condition. There are many factors that can contribute to high blood pressure. Often you don't have any symptoms. That's why it's important to take ownership and control and monitor your readings. But going to see your doctor, of course, your blood pressure reading is often high. And, and no doubt that sound is enough to uh, increase anyone's blood pressure. I don't specifically go immediately and check the blood pressure when the patient comes. I'll have a listen to the heart, to the lungs. And by that stage, you've taken a few deep breaths in and out for me to have a listen and merely by doing that, we find that the blood pressure reading is much, much lower. And I often get a comment from many patients telling me, oh, Dr. Barlis, my blood pressure is always lower when I come here. It's, you know, the aim of a doctor is to you know, make patients feel as comfortable as possible, but also acknowledging that there are many factors that can cause your blood pressure to be high. And it's important as a doctor and a healthcare professional to actually understand what these factors are and that will give you better representation of what the blood pressure actually is. So hopefully you found that useful. Until the next video, bye for now.